Hey everyone, I am Gautam Raj Chau, a game developer. This is my first time giving voice to a video. So you might notice uh, I am a bit lagging with uh, English, but uh, I am trying my best uh, to explain everything clearly. So let's start with the video. In this video, I am going to walk you through the foot IK system I built in Unity using the animation rigging package combined with the procedural animation techniques. The system allows the character fit uh, adjust dynamically to uneven terrain, aligning position and rotation in real time, while also smoothly adjusting the uh, hip for natural leg movement. We'll see how it uses Tubon IK multi position and multi rotation constraints along with the runtime raycasting and procedural animation. First of all, I have uh, installed the animation rigging package from uh, Unity registry. So this is my player prefab you can see here. And inside that, uh, this is my model uh, which contains the actual character graphic and uh, the skeleton of the character. And this is my rig layer. First, we have the rig builder. This is the main system that runs all the rigs and uh, constraints during the gameplay. Without it, the animation rigging setup won't work at all. So, and, and this rig builder uh, supposed to be where uh, the animator component is attached. And uh, after that, we have bone renderer. It's a visual helper uh, in the scene view that shows the skeleton bones. It's really useful for uh, placing IK targets and the hints but uh, it doesn't affect uh, the game just for setup so this is my model skeleton under that uh, all my uh, like humanoid bones are available now mm, this is my foot rig layer where i am doing all those uh, foot related uh, rigging uh, animations so upon this uh, uh, i have attached uh, a component called rig so rig is kind of like uh, think of it as a folder where we group multiple constraints for specific body parts like leg of leg or arms um, it also lets us control how much the influence uh, those constraints have so under food rig layer uh, you can see and there is another game object i have added pelvis charges target which is responsible for uh, adjusting the transform of the uh, hips so upon that uh, i have added a component called uh, multi position constraint so um, where i have passed uh, the hip bone then uh, in the uh, source object i have passed it itself so i'll be controlling this uh, through code so under uh, under under this uh, i have uh, added two more game objects uh, left for left foot and another for uh, right foot so um, let's go through left foot first so in left foot ik uh, i have added uh, a game object uh, called two bone ig constraint so where i have passed the left foot uh, uh, tip bone then i just uh, use this auto set of from tip transform and uh, left of the bones uh, are auto set then uh, for uh, target and hint i created uh, um, two child objects up under left foot ik so i have passed uh, foot target on target and uh, foot hint on uh, hint so uh, the same configuration go for the right foot so under foot ik there is another game object uh, called uh, foot rotation so upon this i have added multi rotation constraint so here um, in the constraint object i have passed the left foot and uh, for the target i have passed itself the multi rotation constraint is used to rotate the foot so it matches uh, the slope of the ground this makes the foot looks properly planted um, instead of floating or uh, clipping through the surface I would like to give a little detailings about the foot target and the foot hint. Uh, the foot target decides where the foot should land and uh, the foot hint tells the knee uh, which way to bend. Um, both are just empty game objects in the scene and uh, 
I I need to move them dynamically through the code and uh, yeah um, this is uh, all my setup on uh, IK so um upon this I'll be uh, handling everything uh, through code so uh, I'll go inside uh, the coding part and I uh, will explain you as you can see uh, this is the whole code uh, uh, overview which is helping me for the IK system so I'll explain uh, from start one by one this is the function uh, which is called set is allowed to use foot ik which allows me to use foot ik or not uh, suppose uh, in case i am uh, i'm going to perform a jump in that time i shouldn't use foot ik so um, this makes sure the foot, foot ik uh, system should be turned off and the jump should be uh, smooth then as usual this is a late update then under late update i'm uh, calling update foot ik which is uh, working as a um, core of this ik system or uh, we, we can say that uh, on the root of the ik system where i am doing two raycasts so the first raycast is uh, from the left foot towards the ground in the second raycast is the uh, in the second raycast is uh, from uh, right foot towards the ground so here uh, you can see I am checking if the foot IK system uh, is allowed. I'll proceed through other functions. As you can see, uh, I'm calling this function set weight of the constraints. So in this function, I'm setting all the uh, weight of the constraints dynamically that uh, they can uh, work smoothly with the animations. So this is my function uh, which is called set weight of constraints um, and in this function I am passing two parameters uh, one is left foot it and, and another one is uh, right foot it mm. so under that uh, this area helps me to calculate a uh, slope normalized value um, where I am calculating the um, uh, angle of uh, uh, left foot and the uh, angle of right foot then uh, by averaging them i get uh, average slope angle then by dividing them uh, with 90 where 90 is the 100 uh, percent slope angle mm, and and then i am getting the slope normalized value next i calculated how different the foot heights are from each other this tells me if the character is standing on uh, on even terrain like uh, one foot on the uh, rock and uh, one on the ground i turn that into uh, a weight value uh, clamped between 0 and 1 based on uh, max height difference of uh, 0 0.3 meters then i ignored uh, tiny fluctuations by zeroing out uh, weights uh, below 0 0.01 which helps avoid jittering on uh, flat ground then I smooth out the weight value using method.lot. This smooths the hips vertical movement so it doesn't snap suddenly when walking over small bumps. Now for the feet, I compare the current Y position of the animated foot with the hit point from the raycast. If the raycast says uh, the foot should be higher, I smoothly push the weight to 1 so the foot lifts up naturally. Otherwise, I blend towards the animator's preset foot weight combined with the uh, slope. This way, the animation and the terrain both influence the final pose. I am using animation curves to set uh, uh, IK left foot weight, same for uh, IK uh, right foot weight. As you can see, upon walking animation, uh, these are the curves. I have created while combining with the uh, walking animation same goes for the uh, running animation also so here in uh, running animation also I have created curves and uh, there is uh, another one idle and in idle mostly the curve will be uh, a single line which is uh, defining only one then at the last of the function I apply these calculated weights 
to all relevant constraints hips get their uh, weight based on difference in foot heights left and right foot ik constraints get their smooth weight and the rotation constraints for each foot also follow the same logic so the feet rotate to match the ground correctly okay now let's talk about the next function or foot ik1 which is taking four parameters each ray cast hit left foot, each ray cast hit right foot and uh, two more parameters for uh, left foot hit and uh, right foot hit. This method updates the foot IK targets both position and rotation based on ray cast that hit the ground under each foot. First I check the animator is valid. If it is valid um, then uh, go uh, one foot at a time. For the left foot, if the ray cast hits uh, the ground, I get the character's current foot Y position and compare it uh, to the ground hit point. If the foot is uh, uh, below the ground, I push it off slightly to avoid clipping. Otherwise, I just add a safe offset uh, so the foot sits nicely uh, above the surface. Then I assign the position to the left foot IK target. Next is the rotation. I get the rotation offset um, which is just a fix for uh, how the foot is aligned um, to the T-pose. Then I project the character's forward direction into the ground normal. So the foot points forward relative to the slope. Finally I create a rotation from that and uh, apply it smoothly using slurp so it doesn't snap i repeat the same process for the right foot and get the foot position compare it with the recast it adjust the y value and then update the target position then calculate the forward direction and the slope based on rotation um, and apply it to the right foot ik target smoothly now let's take a look uh, on our last method hips ik uh, which is taking the same parameters as uh, foot IK. This method adjusts the hips position dynamically based on where the feet are standing on the ground. First I check if the hips should uh, be affected uh, at all. If not, I skip everything. Then I make sure the animator exists and check if uh, both feet are actually grounded using the ray cast. Uh, only if both feet, uh, only if both, only if both feet are on uh, valid ground, I continue. I grab the Y position of each foot from the ray cast hit points. Then I calculate which foot is lower using method.main. The lowest foot decides how far the hips. Uh, need to move down. I take the base Y position of the hips and uh, add the lowest foot height to it, uh, giving me the target height for the hip. To keep the motion smooth, I don't jump straight to the new value. I use loss um, to gradually transition the hips uh, hip, hips Y position. I also include the uh, dead zone check so tiny difference don't cause any jittery movement finally i update the pelvis ik targets y position uh, with this smooth value while keeping it uh, while keeping its x and z unchanged and i store the updated hips position for any future references at the end uh, thank you so much for watching I hope this video helped you understanding how I build the foot IK system. Then see you next in the next video.